everybody. My name is Necroxus. Welcome back to the World of Warcraft Legion Alpha. We are continuing our high mountain journeys. Last time, we glitched our way through the experiences of Holm High Mountain and what he did during the War of the Ancients. Turns out, he banished Tychondrius during the War of the Ancients out of Azeroth, which is pretty impressive, to be honest. Um, now, we are going to meet Spirit Walker Ebonhorn, who I have theorized is actually Rathion, based on... Um, him with this magical ability to show us the past and um, the name, the word Eben is part of his uh, surname, which Eben synonymous with black. Um, so I don't know. I hope I'm right. I'm not sure, but we're going to go meet him uh, in his hut, which is right here. So Holland High Mountain stood his ground 10,000 years ago in. Yeah, yeah. The spirits are important to you. I get it. I'll be honest. I'm here because you mentioned Kaz Garoth. It's Bram Bronzebeard. Wherever the action is. Bram Bronzebeard's here, along with Talus. Well now, you've been turning quite a lot of heads lately amongst the Explorers League. Old Ebonhorn here seems to know who I was, and asked for me to come to help you on this next journey. I hope you don't mind, but I dusted off me old Talus here. I heard we were g I heard there were Ettons involved and figured we could use some heavy metal. Bran, huh? The answers are here. I can feel it. So uh, don't do anything I would. So, Bran is an Alliance faction character, for the most part. Um, the Explorers League is definitely an Alliance faction. As you can see, they're under the Alliance Vanguard. So, I'm curious if you're a Horde character, if this NPC is different. I'll have to go replay this and see if it is. But anyway, let's talk to Spiritwalker Ebonhorn. How brave are you feeling today? Path of Holn. The Drogbar have a tool of the Titans in their possession, and it falls to us to find a way to get around that. To that end, I recommend we walk the path of Holm to the place where our people first recover the hammer so many generations ago. I have asked for the aid of Bronn in this endeavor, as there are a few living, or there are a few in the living world more acquainted with Titan artifacts. The road is dangerous, and we could use your aid upon it. Escort Spearwalker Ebonhorn on the path of Holm. Okay, let's go. The path of Holm follows the footsteps of Holm's last and greatest hunt. That's cool. It's like a fun time for all of our friends. Let's go. You are too fast for me, Ebonhorn. I almost called him home. This is wrong. Why is he at 40% health? That's really weird. Oh, so Bran follows us. Okay. So I just passed a Horde character who had a Thunder Bluff guy following him. <gasps> Do the Horde get Bane to help them? Because the Thunder Bluff, right? Who's in Thunder Bluff? They, I guess they could get... No, it'd have to be Bane. Because... What's-his-face, Torin Druid, is busy with the Druid stuff. I can't remember his name off the top of my head right now. But the, the Torin Druid. Whoa! The Skyhorn have tracked the beast to a nearby cave. Good. He must not be allowed to gather his strength. So close to our homeland. We must drive him from his lair. I don't know what them Torin were huffing, but these ain't no spirits. These are time echoes. Something bad happened here. Interesting. Okay. Time Echoes? This has got to be Rathion. Rathion's involved with the time like shenanigans as well. These are fucking Ettons throwing rocks at us. Because I feel like we're close to the end of the zone. So I can actually check. Oh, High Mountain's the only one where they have that. Yeah, we only have two left. This has got to be Rathion. It's got to be him. We should keep moving. Where are we going? Neltharion's Vault. Oh, shit. Rathion confirmed. This has got to be Rathion. He's definitely interested in his father's stuff. Stand your ground, war braves. Welcome, my friends, to the Vault of Neltharion. Or if the world came to know him, Deathwing. Deathwing's right there. <laughs> what the fuck is... Holm High Mountain fought Deathwing? What the fuck? What? Jump into the vault. Time lost whelps? There are like time echoes of whelps are going on here. This is shenaniganalist. What is happening here? I'm into it though. I've been waiting for the lore heavy stuff and we're getting into it now. We got uh, what I assume is Rathion. We have... Uh, Bram Bronzebeard's here. We have Holm High Mountain fighting Deathwing. Lords of the 
He says the same thing. All right. Quite a drop. Mind yourself in here. This is not a safe place. Echoes of Deathwing World Quest. Explore the vault. It was in this place ages ago that Hull and High Mountain challenged the Great Deathwing. The power wielded in that battle was so great it left scars in time itself, much like the ones you saw on our way here. Echoes of those here on that fateful day still drift forward, sharing their story with us today. But be careful exploring these scars, for their echoes might get a glimpse of you, and they are still quite dangerous. Alright. Neltharion's vault? Well, why didn't that spirit walker just say so? When we were jumping into that cavern, I thought I saw a chamber up high that might have what we were after. Have a look around this place while I see if I can't find a way up. Keep your eyes on the horizon. Defend Bran Bronzebeard. Why are we always defending stupid Bran Bronzebeard? Do we have to... Do we have to actually kill anything? We have to find a way gate. It looks like it's that right there, but... Let's, uh... This is really cool. Oh, I'm loving this. Let's, uh, clear some of these guys out, though. Hey, what? A vault guardian? Wait, all the black dragons are dead. Oh, this is a skeletal one. Ooh. So am I to believe this has been here the entire time? Interesting. That looks really cool as well. Uh, let's just kill this guy, I guess. So we got a skeletal black dragon. Yeah, because all the black dragons are gone. Well, on Azeroth, at least. There are a couple left on Outland. Whoa. Bah! My people did not make this goblin trash. We only scrapped it to that worm's hide. No weapon of mortal can... Mortal mate can penetrate these plate metals. We must find a way... Oh my god, we must find weapons not made by immortals. Igrul, is there any tool or trinket that Deathwing kept from your people? Something uh, he would trust you not to touch? Hmm, I may know of something. So here's Holm talking to Igrul the Scale Bane, which is in their drog bar. So the drog bar were slaves of Neltharion? What? Or I guess Deathwing, because he's Deathwing at this point. Be free. My thanks, Brule. I like how Brule is just bro for these guys. My thanks, bro. Holm said he would free us. Are you with Holm? I mean, basically. What is this? Expended Orb of Domination? Oh, nothing. I'm loving all of this, this lore that's going on right now. Ah, shit. In Defiance of Deathwing, huh? So, oh. So, Holm... Wait. I guess this takes place, so this ha this would have to take place after the War of the Ancients, because it was during the War of the Ancients that Deathwing proclaimed himself, blah, 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 proclaimed himself as Deathwing, because before that he was just thought as Neltharion, um, and he was slowly going crazier, but it was in the War of the Ancients that he unveiled the uh, the Dragon Soul and went full batshit insane and became Deathwing. So we're, at this point in the story, in the past at least, Deathwing was already Deathwing, so Holm returned after helping the uh, the Night Elves and their forces defeat the Burning Legion in Ajara. And then he came back here to fight Deathwing in his lair? Jesus. He's a freaking badass then. And they're looking for... Okay, so they're going to try and find... Oh, I see where it's going. All right, so... Sorry, I just keep saying, oh, I see, oh, I see. So they can't penetrate the adamantium plating of Deathwing. But that doesn't make any sense. My people didn't make this goblin trash. We only strapped it to that worm's hide. No weapons of mortal make... Because Deathwing didn't start putting adamantium plates on himself till much later on. Like, that was when he started, like... I think that's a little bit of a incorrect lore thing they're trying to say here. Because the first cutscene we saw, they were like, We don't have any weapons that can penetrate that metal that he has on his hide. But... Ooh, I got an upgrade. Sweet. But Deathwing didn't start putting adamantium plates on his body until much later on when the corruption literally began splitting him apart. So, I think it's a little bit of a mistake there. But anyway, regardless, um, they're going to try, they're going to find the hammer and they're going to use that to attack Deathwing. But they're obviously going to fail because Deathwing survived. So, hmm. I don't know. I'm really curious to see what happens. But first, let's just. Oh, there's an echo right here, too. Enough stalling. We must slay the beast and set my people free. 
Both the hammer and deathwing are tools of the titans. I doubt I could kill him with this, but I may be able to at least banish him. So they have the hammer, actually. What does he mean, banish him, though? Because deathwing still was on Azeroth. Oh shit, a Dragon Soul experiment? Whoa, I like how that was just part of the the bonus quest. That's that's Where am I? Am I have I gone too far? Uh trying to find the last temporal fissure. Ah shit. I got stunned! There's a lot of gold in here, too. I just noticed that this was all gold. I mean, I guess Deathwing falls under the old-school dragon trope from classic fantasy. Them dragons love collecting their shit. Alright, let's kill this bitch. What the hell? There was just a bat that just escaped. He's like, I gotta get out of here! How are those skeleton dragons flying? I don't know about that. I'm looking for one more... I'm looking for another temporal loop. I don't see one. Or a fisher. Treasures of Deathwing in defiance of the... Oh, I gotta go back down there. Okay. Well, I went too far up. I'm sorry. I got lost in the interesting lore that's happening. But I'm gonna take this treasure chest. Take all of it. And then I'm going to drop down here, and then go back to where I was. Because that Titan Waygate also was over here. Yes, I already saw that one. Find a Waygate? Oh, I found one right here. Oh, this is a fissure. This is a Titan Waygate. What lies beyond? A hammer. Deathwing eats any of my people who get near it. Huh. Oh, I saw the visions out of order. It's supposed to go this one, and then this one, and then the last one. Oops. But I found a waygate. Isn't that a waygate? So apparently there's a waygate up here. Alright. So let's kill this first, and then we'll go help Bran, whatever. Bran, excuse me. Wait, who is that? Oh, it's just another player. Okay. Okay, so apparently the other waygate is up here. Wait. I'm confused. Can I actually go through that waygate? Is my question. I'm sorry guys, I haven't been here. I'm still just trying to get my bearings. I'm gonna turn well, let's go. Let's see if I can go in here. If I step on the waygate, will it transport me? Yes it will! Alright, cool. Okay, nice. So this is where the hammer used to be. Okay, Bron. Well now, if this ain't the spot, I don't know what is. Looks like back in Deathwing's day, he gathered up all sorts of stuff. Let me know when you're ready, and we can see what defenses that old worm left in place. I'm ready. Well, well, what have we here? A pile of mostly unguarded Titan discs? Oh, Bron. Bran, what the shit? Looks like old Deathwing left the automated defenses on. Watch me back. Bran! He's always doing this shit. At least have your guardian help me out. Well, Titan Defenders. Oh, cool. They're using those swords from Uld... Uh, is it... Is it Missa Pandaria where those drop? A hammer! Oh, wait, no, that's just... <laughs> yeah, I can still hear the other uh, echo happening from down below. Try aiming for Titan Defenders. Them orbs are what hold the portals open. All right. Other player is also here. So we have to kill those orbs. Kill the orbs! Alright, cool. And then we can kill this. Too bad these things don't get- oh. Alright, that should be enough! I'll meet you near the exit to this dragon hole. What did he do? Oh, he stole the- Oh, his little guy took all the discs! 
All right. But we still have to do eight more percent of this. So let's go kill something real quick. Oh, Rathion's gone too. Or who I presume is Rathion. Oh shit, where'd they go? Dude, I bet you now I have to go all the way back to where I was at the beginning and I dropped down. All right, let's keep going. Okay. Aha! There he is. Well, hold on. I think I have to kill two more whelps before this will complete. Yeah. Alright, cool. And he is dead. Yay, we did it! And then... Why do they keep dropping weapons? Remember they said that they wouldn't drop weapons? After a long study of these echoes, I believe it might be possible for one skilled in magic to bring an echo forward to our time, but such an action only be used in the most dire of situations. What? The greatest time scar of all is just ahead. Kazgaroth was a titan who shaped the world. Using his hammer against Deathwing, the aspect of Earth had dire consequences. Go speak with Hone and witness the reason why High Mountain is feared amongst dragons to this day. We're going to watch him, like, hurt Deathwing? Hi, home. We have lost so many today. I did not think another champion would make it through. Come! We have a hard fight ahead of us. Are you ready? Ready! Oh, shit, we're fighting Deathwing in the past! Get him! I will not be undone by some mortal filth. I am the Earth Warder! Bitch, use Dez, what you gon' be! I am a time lost echo right now. Interesting. But how what does he how does he banish Deathwing? I'm confused. Cause I would assume banish means like Whoa. By the power of the Titans I banish you from this land, Earth Warder. What the fuck? What? He like petrified Deathwing. I'm sorry, what? As you see, High Mountain was a force that drove Deathwing from this plane of existence. No black dragon has dared to return to this place since. Until now. What? Until now! Because he's Rathion! Now that the whole spirit journey thing is out of the way, we can get down to business. Assist Spirit Walker Ebonhorn in Eltharion's vault. Alone at last, a champion. Well, I suppose there's no longer a need for disguises between the two of us. Do it. Come, champion. I will need your help while those time scars are still fresh. Who the fuck else is a dragon? That's Rathian. I called that shit. Ugh. This is awesome. Although he's not a whelp anymore. He's like a, 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 a Drake. Sorry. <laughs> I was so excited in the revelation I forgot what that was called. He's Rathian. Ah! These eggs predate Red Deathwing's corruption. We must recover them? What? Keep them off me just a little longer, hero. I need to get as many of these eggs as possible. Oh my god, these are legitimate black dragon eggs. Holy shit! <laughs> He's gonna rebuild the black dragon flight! Well done, champion. I have sent the clutch to a safe place. Now I will see about finding a safe way out of here. Look to... to for, oh my god. Look for me west of when you're ready to leave. Do you guys, do you guys understand the implications of what just happened? These eggs are not corrupted. So we didn't have to like decorrupt them like we did when we decorrupted Rathion's egg way back in the Cataclysm quest chain. They're already not corrupted and Rathion just took a bunch of them. Rathion's rebuilding the Black Dragon flight. Holy shit. Give me one reason not to let Talus here rip off your wings and beat you with them. Look, that incident with the Iron Horde was just a misunderstanding. Garrosh was supposed to convince them to fight the Burning Legion, not invade Azeroth. Uh. 
Oh, I think, I think, you know, a lot of the time I say things like, I just had a lore nerdgasm, but I think, I think in the last five minutes I legitimately did because we just, so many things just happened. We learned so many things. First of all, we get the confirmation that pretty much everybody assumed what is what his goal was, was to let... Garrosh was supposed to convince the orcs to form the Iron Horde to fight the Burning Legion, not invade Azeroth, and that went awry. So we kind of knew that was what he wanted to do, but we got confirmation from him that, th- that it is. Oh my god. And then in addition to all the shit with the eggs, and this is a big chunk of history we just uncovered. Travel safe. I do not share my father's madness. I know you don't show your father's madness. Thank you, champion. As always, your skills continue to protect the future of Azeroth in ways you cannot even imagine. Well, this is no time to overstay our welcome. I found the passageway behind me will take us all the way to the other side of the mountain. Once clear of the caves, I should be able to get us to high ground. Escape the vault. Let's do it. Oh, er, oh. Okay. Assume we're just supposed to meant to assume we're meant to run, but Bran is just gonna chill there. I guess I to, I, this probably isn't right because I assume once I get to clean it up, okay. I assume Rathion's supposed to be like running with us, and things are supposed to be happening here. So interesting. This is all incredibly fascinating. I love it. I'm just gonna run out while my minions fighting stuff. Oh my god, we learned so many things just now. Whew. I'm like tired. <laughs> I'm like tired because we learned so many things in such a short amount of time. Wow. What an awesome like beginning of the end of this zone. Man, they're really nailing it because the end of Stormheim was also really great. Oh my god, he has a... Base here! Tong! Tong is here! And left and right? Black Talon Quartermaster? Supplier to the Black Prince? Whoa. I do not share my father's Well, these Torrin and their spirit journeys are quite intimidating. Huh. Well, oh shit, what were the things he could offer? I went to go look at them uh, traits and I realized I don't even know which things he's offering. Okay, Rathion, shut up. Stop saying 800 words when I click on you. Shadowy incantations or drained to a husk? Uh, drained to a husk is this. I already have three points in it, so that could be really good. Or shadowy incantations. Increases your shadow damage belt by one. That's not really that good. I'm going to go with drain to a, a new husk. Era is beginning. Wow. Flight of the Black Prince. I hope you don't mind, but I took the liberty of calling in some of my own forces to assist us with an exit plan. They can ensure you get a flight to wherever you need. I will remain here should you need me. My associates can assist me in recovering other less dangerous items from the vault. Speak with Maya High Mountain. Thank you again, Hero. You have just given the Black Dragon Flight a second chance. Oh my god. What amazing... Irony. So all the dragon flights are basically... Well, let's talk while we fly back to Thunder Totem. So, after Cataclysm, all of the aspects lost all their power. The dragon flights basically were destroyed. The blue dragon flight is literally destroyed. The rest of the three dragon flights are kind of, like, just defunct. I mean, there's a bunch of them, but they're not really coordinating to do anything. Meanwhile, you have fucking Rathion... Trying to reform the Black Dragon flight, and with our help, he's going to be able to do it now. Holy shit. That was awesome. That was awesome. Wow, I'm really into this. I'm really into this. Ah! I want to see the last thing now. I'm really excited. But uh, that's going to have to wait for next time, because we have completed a chapter, which means this video is over. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay tuned next time for what I assume is an awesome conclusion to this zone, because this might have been my favorite episode I've done so far on the Alpha. This was fantastic. Beats all of the other in- artifact intros. Beats the end of Stormheim. We got so much lore in such a small amount of time. 
Ah, great. So anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and yeah, farewell. <laughs>